Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. If this is what I think it is, this is gonna be a really cool video. I'm pumped. Yes! You're a dork. Welcome to Shadow Alley on the channel. We talk about horror movies and silicone mask and other creepy things. So if you're into that sort of stuff, feel free to subscribe and stick around. All right, let's not waste any second on this stupid talking head. Let's just go take a look at an unbelievably movie ready, full body werewolf costume. It's amazing. I can't wait to do something with it. And let's just take a look at it. Midnight Studios FX. They have unbelievably cool full body creature suits that are relatively expensive. I mean, the one that I bought was $1,900, which is a little much, but it is so freaking cool. I'm excited to show it to you guys. Shut up and get to the point. So it comes in lots of different pieces. It isn't just one full body suit that you put on. It actually comes in smaller, more easily manageable pieces. So it has feet, obviously. Every costume comes with four inch platform shoes. The actual latex body suit, which makes your body look way, way bigger. It also comes with pants. And these are more or less like Lycra or spandex pants with hair glued to them. And the same thing like a spandex shirt with hair in only specific places that are gonna stick out from the costume, werewolf hands that go pretty much all the way up to your bicep, and then of course the werewolf latex mask, which the detail on this thing is so freaking cool. It's slimy and sparsely haired, grotesque. It just looks amazing. I love it. So let's put this on piece by piece and show you how it all looks together. It's about time. Okay, so first off, if you just put on the spandex pants and the spandex top, you can see that it only has hair in very specific places that are going to be peeking out from the actual werewolf chest piece. And if you just wear this, you pretty much look like Goat Boy. <laughs> And I look completely ridiculous, and I'm glad that I'm sharing this with potentially thousands of people, but there you go. That's what it looks like. I couldn't be less cool, could I? All right, so now I actually have the feet on as well. I'm not wearing the platform shoes here just so that I wasn't too tall for my doorway. I didn't want my head to stick up inside of the door frame. But you can see that it, it blends in pretty well. Let's go ahead and put on the bodysuit itself too. And this is a pretty thick foam latex so that it holds its shape and it has a zipper up the side of it. Since I'm doing this by myself, it's a little bit difficult to zip that all the way up and I don't want to accidentally get stuck in this because I live alone. And if I get stuck in this thing, I'm going to have to call the police to come get me out of it. And that's super embarrassing. I'd like to see that. But you can see that it blends pretty well into the legs. It's hard to see that transition. And again, keep in mind as well that this is under unbelievably bright light conditions. I would never shoot a movie like this. It would always be dark and in the shadows. And if you add the gloves, they go all the way up into the hairy points on the spandex shirt that are sticking out from the latex chest piece. And it blends pretty well. You can see what that all looks like together. And then, of course, putting on the head, the piece de resistance. It blends so cool and it just looks disgusting in such a cool, good way. And this is as close as I think I could get to a movie quality werewolf costume from head to toe that I could actually shoot and be proud of. And there have been movies that have been shot with this company's werewolf costumes. So for example, the movie A Werewolf in England from 2020 used a very similar costume to this. Now I got the Lucian version because it has a little bit shorter snout, but in the movie A Werewolf in England, they used the Cujo version, which is a little bit more wolf or dog-like. It has a longer pointier snout, but look how amazing it looks in this movie when it's shot well. But you can see that with the right kind of lighting, the seams blend perfectly. Now usually most of their werewolf costumes are very gray, a gray color. And I told them that I had a brown silicone mask, a werewolf mask that I also wanted to try to pair with this. So I asked them if they could make the hair a little bit more on the brown, the sandy brown side rather than full gray. And they said, absolutely no problem. So if you notice the colors on my costume are a little bit more brown and a little bit less gray, which allows me to add my brown silicone mask to the costume as well. Now, this is a freaking cool feature that I really like because depending on how I shoot this, I think the original latex mask matches with the costume a little bit better because it's made to go together, obviously. And they didn't have my mask in person to make it perfect. And the hair is a little bit more scraggly on the costume and the hair on the silicone mask is a little bit more thick and 
and soft and flowing. Now I would obviously mess that up and add some gel to it if I were to shoot this, but I really wanted the option of being able to use a silicone mask with this costume also. Depending on how I shoot it or what I'm doing, I might want a little bit more movement out of the mask, which latex doesn't really provide. So now I have a costume that I can pair with the original latex mask that comes with it, which looks amazing. Plus I can also use my silicone mask so that if I want to get actual eye movement or I want to get actual jaw movement or I want to have my tongue sticking out in one scene, then I can do that and it actually pairs pretty well with this. So what do you guys think? Would you go with the silicone mask where you can get a lot of facial movement or would you go with your original latex mask? Both of which I think look freaking awesome. Awesome. I'm so excited about this werewolf costume. I think it is as close as I could humanly get to a real werewolf monster in a real movie. Unbelievable, right? I'm excited to do something with this. I mean, I'm sure we could do some short films and some crazy stuff with it, but you know, my ultimate goal, if I could make a full length horror movie, I think it would be a werewolf movie. This was one step towards that goal, I think, is finding out how to do a full werewolf costume that would look good on camera. And I think we got it. This thing looks pretty cool and there have been movies made with these costumes, so I think I could get away with it. But who knows, maybe that'll be in the future. And if you are into this weird, creepy stuff, then please do all those things you're supposed to do to help a channel grow, like like and comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. You're a dork.